hustlers do This is a hustler's song This hustler's gone Hey, what's good y'all man, it's your boy The Million, aka The Million the Down, aka Dem Down Dada, back in the cut Mushishi man, alright, so This is episode 20, as y'all can see, not 19 I thought everything was good, set to go But when I finished watching it I realized I wasn't recording <laughs> So you know what I'm saying, uh, lost that one. I'm kind of pissed too, because that episode I actually rock with. That was probably one of my favorite episodes with the whole couple and like uh, the dude with his uh, with his fiance or whatever, like him having to believe that she was still there and he couldn't see her. Good thing about that though is, you know, the show is episodic, so it's like nothing really ties into each other like that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, man, episode 20. Let's see what it's about, bro. Let go. Dang, she writing a lot. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sea of writings. Okay. Oh, <laughs> All right. <yeah. laughs> oh yeah. Tama. Looking fresh, little turtleneck vibe. He he liked them turtlenecks, bro. <laughs> and he cleaned up with a jacket. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Who is this old lady? Archives again. Yes. Okay, little secret door. What's behind that? And what would you like to see today? Well, I'm caught up on most of the work of the past generation, so... And then you're already at Miss Tanya's generation. The cigars of yours, give them to me. I'm not going to smoke in here. Sorry, <laughs> but I can't take any chances, Ginkgo. <laughs> the archives are priceless. The scrolls here are more than just guides to sealing away Mushi. Okay. Is she like uh, one of like his tutors or mentors? Or is this like a library, like where, you know, the Mushi should come to learn more about like how to deal with uh, these Mushis and whatnot? Because he talked about the scrolls and how to seal them. So I'm guessing this is like a whole, you know, a whole library, underground <laughs> secret layer of like, you know, different uh, information on Mushi and how to deal with them. So that would make a lot of sense and how Ginkgo, Ginkgo knows so much about these different Mushis and like how to, you know, handle them so if that were to burn up then yeah that would be a problem <laughs> so i definitely understand uh where she's coming from <laughs> i'm need those cigars circumstances regarding the birth of tanyu daughter and fourth generation scribe of the karibusa family are you certain yes there's no mistaking it she has the her birthmark she is the fourth generation scribe black lake tanyu oh my gosh oh that's Please Dang. return to your room this instant. No! You're old enough to understand now. Come, I'll tell you everything. My family and yours have been connected for generations. It was my Mushi master ancestors who sealed forbidden Mushi away in the body of your ancestor. Wow. Yes. Flora and Fauna lived in harmony with Mushi. Where Flora and Fauna flourished, so too did Mushi alongside them. Hmm. Where they died off, the Mushi did as well. Once upon a time, a terrible catastrophe struck the land. It was mm. then that they first appeared, a type of Mushi never before encountered. One okay. that attempted to erase all other forms of life. What was okay. Like? There are no records. And we talking about Mushi ain't bad. Scratch that, bro. Let's uh, revisit, you know what I'm saying, that, that thought process. Because, uh... <laughs> what? Look to erase all forms of life? Bro, come on. Nah, man. Mushi are dangerous, bro. What was it like? There are no records of its shape, nor how it was sealed in your ancestor's body. Oh. Uh, All I know is a story that my family has passed down. Oh, uh, so, so they're saying there was just one Mushi, and they, they sealed that Mushi in her leg, basically. Or it's been passed down in her family, and now it's in her leg. Nah, I feel like <laughs> that one Mushi, bro, I'm sorry. I feel like it definitely influenced <laughs> A lot of other Mushi because nah, that one might have just been like the bad one, but bro, <laughs> these other Mushi ain't, ain't too sweet either, you know what I'm saying? So, you mean the Mushi are alive inside of me? Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> Does that mean that I'm gonna die too? I will not let that happen to you, Tanyu. I promise you that. When you have more fully mastered the scribe's art, we will pack up the collected knowledge recorded by our ancestors. We will establish a new archive, and there we will bury the forbidden Mushi forever. 
When mm. that is done, your black birthmark will disappear, your afflicted leg will heal, and you'll okay. finally be able to walk on it at long last. You will be the one to finally free your family from their mm. curse. Okay, the chosen one. Grandma working. <laughs> okay, that's dope. She loves she used so to it now. I began to learn the process of how to put the Mushi to sleep under Thomas' instruction. Mm -hmm. There are so many stories. One day she <laughs> might regale me with tales of Mushi roundups, accompanied by her distinct dramatic flair, of course. Whenever I wrote her stories down, an intense pain ran through my birthmark. Oh, Tom, are the Mushi leaving my body? Is that why it hurts? That's correct. Mm. Writing down the stories of how I slew Mushi in the past, that's what kills the Forbidden Ones coursing inside you. Oh, wow. Okay. I realize it's painful, but you must bear it, Tanya. You better write, girl. You better write. You get to write it. Come on, J.K. Rowling. <laughs> Hold on. Because of, let's continue. Tell me more. Are you sure, miss? Yes. I'll be fine. <laughs> the pain. The Mushi contained in this vial. I released a large number of them in the area. But not to worry. They were easy to dispose of. <laughs> I knew exactly Talking that to do. They were all about one thing. Killing. Of course. <laughs> what are you talking about, man? in my leg was nothing compared to the immense pain I felt in my heart. Oh, brother. This killing was the result of arrogance toward these tiny life forms. Man, we're not doing that, bro. We're not doing that. <laughs> no, man. Stop it, bro. I, I see the rather they're trying to take with it. The Mushi are just innocent and it's because of the humans that man come on bro <laughs> nah man they're, 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 these mushy bro they be messing around and, and and come on it's not just all one-sided bro like we gotta be for real bro of course we're gonna try to eradicate them when they're doing all this crazy stuff bro it is what it is do you want your leg killed or not <laughs> like stop stop it man come on bro like what are we talking about <laughs> if i could only use this leg excuse me miss that must be the black birthmark I've heard so much about. You must be a Mushi master. I understand that you collect stories about Mushi. Why she, why she, got, why she got that hate in her heart? Look how she said that. How she looked at him like, oh, you're one of those Mushi masters. Like, girl, <laughs> you trying to have this leg killed or not, shorty? Like, <laughs> what are we talking about, man? This is like, like, come on. You think people are just going to allow this to happen to them? That, that, that one bad uh, Mushi was trying to kill all life forms, okay? It's still in your leg. We're trying to eradicate it and help you. These other Mushi, they some they cause problems too. We've seen this whole series, bro. Maybe she hasn't been exposed, so she doesn't really know, like, you know, the, the extent to, to, like, a lot of these scenarios, but come on, man, like, what do you expect them to do? <laughs> I'm sure, like, they've tried a couple of times to, like, figure out how to not kill them maybe they haven't either way doesn't matter bro these mushi are they they got they these mushi are crazy bro some of these side effects and like what they do to people is is wild bro like why does that have to happen to them <laughs> so of course we're gonna try to eradicate them like bro we're not trying to have that happen so sorry i'm not in the mood <laughs> i've heard more than enough tales about killing mushi thank you mm. ah stories without killing well then this is your lucky day. I know a few of those. <laughs> yes, okay. but I doubt they'd be of much use. Fine. To... If you don't want me to tell you about the mushi that eat moles. Moles? Go on. Tell me. Man, Ginko came with a different oh, approach. Ginko has them. those stories too, but he has the stories of killing them too. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, bro. I'm sure. There's a dangerous species of mushi laying dormant in the character strings. Yeah, I've heard about that. The forbidden Mushi. Don't worry, I'm pretty hard to kill. Thought it's up. like a gold. Let's change that. I, I want to hear about people and animals and Mushi living together in harmony. Look at, look at the side up. <laughs> Is that? Oh. Buckworm eggs. Oh, oh shoot. They're here. Uh oh. And here too. Uh oh. Okay. What that mean? They're eating the paper. Oh shoot! They're breaking the seal. Dang! Oh oh oh! We gotta stop that. Wait a minute. The Mushi. They've broken through the seal. They're escaping, and they're uh -oh. making straight for you. Damn straight for you. Uh oh. Shoot. Don't worry. There's no way they can escape this room. Oh okay. 
So you're still alive, I'm surprised. Yeah, so am I. They sure don't move like they've been dormant for centuries. He's trying to tell you, I'm hard to kill. Not then. I was talking about you, Ginko. <laughs> like I said, I'm hard to kill. Right. So. Don't worry about it. I've got a few tricks to control Mushi up my sleeve. See, even she, even she even she knows that like, yo, Mushi be tripping. She was like, I'm surprised you. I'm surprised you're still alive because <laughs> these Mushi are crazy. <laughs> she knows, man. So like, come on. Volume one thousand eight hundred and fifty-three, oh, okay. chapter one. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Turn on. Chapter two. Oh, <laughs> okay. That's a cold. These infernal mushi have more or less become Miss Tanya's pets. <laughs> wow, okay. Yes, well, they can be rather cute in their own way. That's quite a dangerous job you've got there, Tanya. I hmm. know, but it's my family's legacy. There lived a woman drowning in a sea of written characters. The hmm. end. <laughs> the end. <laughs> I know that story. <laughs> Tell me another, please. <laughs> That's my story. <laughs> Ginko, will you stay with me until I finish? I got places to be, so okay. That's a wild life, though. You know what I'm saying? But she's accepted it, so man, respect. Oh wow, all over her body. Mm. And so there lived a woman who was ravaged by Mushi, but instead of hate, she treated them with love mm. and sealed them away forever. Without doing any harm. Okay, so that was her route at uh, the end, huh? <laughs> so she seals them instead of killing them. Is Miss Tanya done? It's a risk, though. Yes, she's resting. Ginko. Yeah, she was resting. <laughs> I don't want to rest. Dang. Instead, no, stop. I want to go outside. Hmm. Will you take me there, please? Who knows? Maybe I'm not the one. Maybe I'm not destined to end it. Mm, I think she is. What if you are? Your leg. What will you do if it heals? Mm. Well, I'd like to travel with you some. Mm, that'd be useful. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Even if it did heal, I'd be an old lady before I could use it. <laughs> I was just kidding. Let's do it. That is, mm. of course. Assuming I'm not dead by then, <laughs> it's a deal. That's fair. Okay. Yeah, it's a strong duo, you know what I'm saying? Okay. That was cool. Yeah, that was cool, man. A sea of writings. Okay. That was a... Uh... That was a tough uh, <laughs> life for her, but hopefully she gets that healed. We'll see maybe if she's going to come back later on in the show. But uh, it is kind of episodic, though, so I don't know if she's going to, you know, make an appearance again. Um, I feel like that would have to be a time skip, not anything soon. So, uh, yeah, cool episode, though. You know what I'm saying? Ginko uh, went back to learn more about these Mushi from the scrolls and the scripts. So that was interesting just to see the library of these Mushi uh, master scrolls and stories and whatnot. So interesting. But yeah, cool episode. Like, comment, share, subscribe. All that good stuff. Catch on the next man. As always, stay healthy, stay powerful, stay blessed. Mm -hmm.